to make the erection planning in impact, we open the model viewer and we look at it uh, through the model view up here to be able to make the erection planning directly in the model uh, like that. Uh, we set it to the erection planning tab uh, to make the erection sequence to the elements. Um, we can also see that there is no erection planning made just by clicking color erection and everything is white which means that there is no planning done yet here. So let's start with the floor number one and the columns and press control button click in the order you want to erect or mount the elements out on site like that. When you're finished with that, you click down here, add elements, and the new erection sequence for each element will show up here, and you click apply. And now the elements show up green on the screen, which means that uh, it indicates that the erection planning is made for the columns in this case. So now, as you can see, the erection sequence uh, number is set to the project. All elements are green, and uh, if we zoom in here on this specific wall, uh, it has got its own erection sequence number, 28 in this case. Uh, this number will follow throughout the planning of the, the project. We can look at it through the element ID tab here. Uh, so this is the numbers. And this is a table of all the elements included in the project. And this number will follow when we are making the erection planning dates, the delivery date, storage date, production date, and back to the drawing date. And now we will also be able to simulate the project um, to see what it looks like in progress out on site. So set, uh, first of all, click the simulate uh, tab here and set it to erection sequence and then just play uh, let's let's start from the beginning here and then just press play here Next thing we want to do after planning the erection sequence number is to set the planned erection uh, date. Uh, and that is something we do in Element ID Grid. So click Element ID tab. And we want to show what type of element it is. So move this one to the right here. And what we want to do here now is to follow the erection sequence number. Um, let's say that we uh, mount or erect about uh, average 10 elements per day when it comes to columns, beams, and maybe also walls. So then we set the planned erection date here. Let's start with 10 columns here. We set the date to, let's say, 1st of June, and apply. Save changes. And then the next 10, we set the date to the 2nd, and so on. So now that you have planned uh, all the erection dates for the entire project or for a building or only just a face, uh, we can see here that all the elements has got the planned erection date. It's time to set the planned delivery date and uh, most of the time um, when it comes to precasted elements uh, it's set as the same date. Uh, that the erection date, the plan erection date. 
So let's say that's the case in this project and then we just click here to mark all the elements. Right click, change date and then we change the planned delivery date using the planned erection date and increase decrease with zero which means that it will be the same day as the planned erection date. Save changes. So now the planned delivery date will be the same as the erection date here.